Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Violet and my service dog in training, his name is Atlas. He is a 15 month old golden retriever and he's my service dog in training. Um, and today I just wanted to take you guys out on a public access training outing with us. Um, lately, I'm not gonna lie, I've been struggling really hard with motivation and my fatigue has been hitting me really, really hard. So the combination of the two have made training him, going out and training him really difficult um, just to go and do at all. So I really want to start recording at least once a week um, just so I'm held accountable to at least one training outing a week with him. He does come with me places uh, to do errands, but I feel like he would really benefit from um, doing training outings, like designated training outings, to where we're at a place to only uh, train. And that's just because lately I've noticed that his engagement and his focus has really been suffering uh, lately. And he is still in training, so his training is not complete yet. And I feel like I haven't been doing him justice when it comes to training. So I want to hold myself accountable and record these outings at least once a week. Um, and I want to get them out to you guys on Friday because my last poll, I asked you guys what day would be best to post and most of you said Friday. So I'm going to try and post weekly on Fridays. I will keep you updated if I can't. Um, you know, chronic illness and disabilities are kind of unpredictable. <laughs> so I'll do my best to do that. But I really want to start doing that for him but also for you guys just to see what that can look like not every single video that we'll do will be a training outing it may be a day in the life it may be a vlog it may be you know something interesting or something different that we may do but um i just kind of want to really start doing that for the both of us and for you guys so today's training outing i really want to go to cole's um he's only been there twice and um, maybe afterwards I'll record us running an errand because I do have to get something at the store. Oh, and before I forget, please like and subscribe and please hit that notification bell. Um, it really does help and I really do want to start to build more of a community and um, yeah, we're already at almost 250 followers now and I am so appreciative of you guys. It really does mean the world and it really does help a lot when you do like and subscribe and comment and again if you haven't already and if you follow um please hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever our videos come out um and yeah so now let's get into the video and we'll see you at Kohl's so we made it to Kohl's and I'm sitting in the parking lot and there is a lot of people here and I'm not a fan Atlas is just chilling She's laying down, waiting to go as I sit here quietly, kind of panicking. So, but I gotta do this, I gotta do this. It's, it's part of owner training. I've been really slacking lately. I really need to go in and do this. And usually I wouldn't really record stuff like this, but it's kind of important for you, you all to see, I guess, this side. Service dogs help mitigate our disability, but at the same time, they can also bring it out. The act of training is very hard um, for those of us with disabilities, which is ironic because these dogs are for our disabilities and yet they also can exacerbate them especially when they're still in training but it is worth it i've seen it firsthand i felt it firsthand it is worth it whenever he does great it, it's the best feeling because it feels like i'm getting back my life but on that same note some days training is really hard but i need to do this just breathe. I know I'll probably be able to find someplace quiet to train. Although it is good for him that it's busy because he needs to get used to being around busy areas. 
but I just hope everyone is respectful. I hope there are no other dogs in there, like pets or you already know, vested dogs that aren't necessarily service dogs. Won't get into that. Yeah, there's just a lot going through my mind right now. I should probably just get out before it gets worse and I talk myself out of going in there. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the video. Wish me luck. <laughs> Boards for him, and yes, he does have a whole new setup, um, which you'll see. But yeah, um, also have him touch. Yes, good. Good boy. Yes. Touch. Touch. Yes, touch. Yes, touch. Yes, good. Good. Also have him do, um, I tried to have him, yes, do auto focuses without me asking because I have been asking that from him a lot, which I shouldn't be doing. Okay, come. Boy. All right, heel. Have him go potty first. Go potty. Go potty. Yes, good boy. Do some drills out here. Heel. Yes, good focus. Good. I'm waiting for him. Yes, good. Heel. Yes, good. Ah, ah. Yes. Yes, good. Yes. Yes, good. Yes, good. Good focus. Ah, ah. No, sir. Yes. Heel. Yes. Good focus. Yes. Good boy. So we're going to stand by the front door. Yes, and as people pass, I'm going to have him focus on me. Yes. Yes, good. Sit. Yes. Good. Leave it. Yes. Yes, good. Leave it. Ah, uh -uh. leave it. Yes, good. Leave it. Focus. Yes. Leave it. Yes. Good. Leave it. Focus. Yes. Good. Yes. Good job. I'm going to jackpot him for that. Yes. Ah. 
leave it. Yes.
Focus. Stay. Yes. Good boy. Leave it. Yes. Leave it. So we just got out of Lowe's. Um, as you saw, I really focused on his engagement and um, him focusing on me. And I, he's waiting for water. But at the very end there, we did the same thing basically as when we went in to conclude the training um, outing. And that was just to sit outside and have him focus on his own on me, offer his focus. And, and at the very end there, you saw that there was a little dog in a stroller. And they were sitting outside, probably only about like, maybe 20 feet away. Not very good at the whole measuring thing. But luckily it didn't react. It did try to hop out of the stroller at first though. And the owner stopped it. 
I'm very thankful that it was not like super reactive um, and that like it was going ballistic and barking. But it was good for him because lately what I have wanted to do was work outside of a dog park and have him focus on me um, around dogs playing and barking and all that. Um, because lately I have noticed he has been a little more distracted by dogs. Um, and when I say distracted, I mean like before he would maybe glance at them and then that was it. Just a singular glance, notice them, either look back on me or if he wasn't on duty, he would continue on playing. Now I notice whenever we're out, um, it doesn't really happen too much when we're working because there's not, you know, a lot of dogs that we come across. But it's mainly whenever we are out and it's his free time to go and sniff and play. And I notice that he will kind of get a little more locked on and it'll be hard to get him out of that brain loop of staring. So what I've been doing lately since I've noticed is that I will stand in front of him if I can't break that loop, that cycle in his brain to get his focus back on me. And I feel like that has been helping, um, but I'm really proud of him and how he broke that. I guess he's improving. I just don't see it, but when I, you know, talk about it, I can kind of see his improvements, I guess. Um, but in my head, I don't, and I'm really critical, but yeah. I am going to run to the store to get a couple things that I need for dinner and also um, more hot dogs for him for his treats. Um, I would preferably like to give him like freeze-dried meat. I can't afford that, so cheese and hot dogs. And only that, it's a little less messy. Not really though. So yeah, we'll see you at the store. I don't know if I'm going to Walmart or Target. Target is right across the way, so I might just go there. But yeah, see you there. after Target and I wanted to show you his new setup. It's an Apollo vest. It's a short back um, and it has pockets and it's all Velcro. I got him a bunch of new patches um, that say stay back please, give a space, stop, no touch, no talk, no eye contact, and then a big stop sign that says working, stop, do not pet. 
and then it has a big patch on the side that's very tactile it's rubber and it says service dog in training with a medical symbol and on the side underneath that patch it has the no touch talk eye contact or photography symbols as well and then he has a tactical um, collar and that's able to have a patch on it and I have a patch on there that says service dog um, and I have two patches on there actually but you can't see it and then I usually pair it with a bandana and then I also have a leash wrap that I got as well that says service dog with a medical symbol between service and dog. It's the same type of material as the big patch that says service dog in training. Um, it's like a rubber type of material and it's very tactile. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was long, but I wanted to show kind of the realistic side of dog training. I and mean, that does actually take a long time. But I just wanted to pop on here before this video is done and just say that it's okay if you have to take a step back in your dog's training. Dog training is never linear, no matter if it's service dog training, therapy dog training, or just pet training. It's never linear. It's ever-changing. Sometimes when you take a step forward, you take seven steps back, and that's okay. And it does feel like that I am taking a huge step back with him by going back to basics when it comes to public access. And by basics, I mean like really focusing on his focus and engagement and using lots of treats. But if that's what he needs, then that's what I'm going to give him. And like I've said many times in this video, I've been really unmotivated and really fatigued and his training has suffered because of it. And I have noticed that he has been getting a lot more distracted by things lately that he never really used to before. And that is because I have not been on top of his training like I was in the past. So I'm trying to get back into that. And like I said, every Friday I'll try to get a video out for you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell once again. And we appreciate you so much and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.